because we've only got 19 laps. Uh, Whoa! Lap. That is Royal Serbia. Is it? Yikes. Whoa, great yikes, yikes. That's in turn uh, two. A lot of dust again. He was really high. He must have run up behind. Now, Max Pappas, this is playing into his cards. There's Mauricio Guzma also involved. But obviously, contact, wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact at launch. Serbia high into the air and down hard in turn two here at Laguna. They were battling for a tenth position there. It was Guzman ahead of Oil Serbia. And we can see Serbia's car off to the left there in the, in the gravel trap. And that is Serbia's car off there to the right with a simple green safety team in attendance. I think no, Moe's already were, hopped out of his car. They, they were actually right there too. That truck parks behind this tire, tire barrier. You see that gap there. So that's... Uh, Speedy uh, on to on site. And we're trying to get a read. Oh, his nose dives into the. They launched the back end of the car up. Okay, under braking, he hits the left rear of Guzman. And it launches the back end up. And then it kind of nose dives into the. into the gravel here. Oh, look at that. Goodness me. That's an amazing accident. He just dug into the front of that gravel trap, I think, and he just vaulted the car straight over uh, over the top. A big uh, double flip there. Boy, that was pretty scary for Oriol Serbia. And he obviously, I think he left his brake a little bit too late, and he so sided over the top of uh, Guzman's car. That was the easy part of the accident. There was a huge flip up in the air, and luckily, I think it appeared to land uh, almost on its wheels, but that would have been uh, given him a heck of a jolt as he came down there in the gravel trap. I think the, the actual second landing uh, wasn't so bad. The, the first jolt as he first hit the... There's Mauricio Guzman out of his car and making his way into the truck. That first bash into the, the gravel there. And this is why these guys all wear the hands device, of course. Yeah, it's not mandatory on the road course, but certainly the vast majority of drivers do wear that hand device, and it keeps the helmet uh, in a very stable location on top of your shoulders, if you like, and, and stops any neck extension, which is uh, the, the major cause of concern uh, in terms of injury and that sort of an accident. This is what Adrian Fernandez saw as he approached turn two. It was sort of over by the time he got there. Look at that hole, it's like a divot, it's like your golf, Jeremy. That's a great big <laughs> divot there. It was, that was, you look, you, he dug in though just, I think, uh, right, he was actually ahead of the gravel trap. I thought it might have been the uh, beginning of the gravel trap, but he just nosedived into the ground there and just took off and he came down for a heck of a height there. Did you can see the damage to the nose of that uh, Lola chassis of Oriol Servia as the safety, the safety team there goes to work to get Oriol out of the car and uh, you know when you come down from that sort of a height that's a heck of a bang. That would have stretched the belts and given him some bruising around the shoulders and everything else. Look at that crater that is left there from where he jumped in. And this of course is, uh, well here comes the guy with the rakes. Yeah look at that crater there, that is just amazing. And uh, we hear the word from uh, the safety team down there, code three, which is actually a, a non, uh, really a non-injury, injurious accident. And I think they've just been really careful with him. I'm sure he's got a bit, a bit of a bit of a pain down there in the neck, and they've just been very careful to get him out of the car.